I wanted to show you that there is water and or liquid. You see it right there. I know it's not the best to see. You can see how wet it is. Um, that's uh, antifreeze. So, looks like I found the problem and it looks like it is going to be probably a head gasket, which is a good thing. That's this back plug right there. I'm going to go ahead and take the other two out and to make sure they're not wet too. Maybe leaking between multiple cylinders. So, there you go. Alright everybody, so I went ahead and just set these up here as they came out of the engine. You can see, this might not be the best lighting, but you can see they're all pretty dry. This one even has got a whole lot of junk on it. Build up carbon and stuff. But you can see that this one right here is wet. So I'm going to give that about a 99.9% .9 chance that is my cylinder and that is my problem. So I am going to go ahead and tear this engine apart. That was one of the things I wanted to do. Now the thing you can do, my buddy Scott was telling me that if you set this, if you found out which cylinder it was by the spark plug, or even if you didn't, if you took a plug, plug that hole with a port on it where you could compress air into that cylinder, you set this at top dead center where both valves are closed, you could push air through there and you should be able to open this cap and you should be able to see the uh, coolant bubbling. Okay, If you can see it bubbling or the water flows over, you know you have the right problem, you know what the problem is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that that's my problem because of the uh, spark plug being as wet as it is. So, guess we'll tear this thing down, see how it goes. One Let's thing I wanted started. to inform you of was I did write down the spark plug wiring diagram okay, before I took anything apart. And this way when I go to put it back together I know I have it correct. So you might want to do that, be a wise choice. Alright, so I just took the belt off, but I wanted to uh, share something with you. These gears are plastic on this particular car. And as you can see from my last experience, I took a big chunk out of this one. And the water pump here actually has a real big chunk taken out of it because I did not realize this was plastic. So that pulley right down there is your idler, or not your idler, but your tensioner. And what I did, took a piece of metal like this put it right on there and just sprung it up like that okay and popped my belt off so save a little time I had a big issue with that first time I did the water pump so that's the easiest way I found to get that one off so while I'm starting to tear this part I'm going ahead and draining the water antifreeze coolant and uh, you can see how nasty it is that's fresh coolant too so we'll, dr we'll drain that while I'm taking some stuff apart and uh, that'll be ready to go. It won't leak all over the floor. Alright, so I went ahead and removed the alternator. Uh, make sure when you pull these plugs off, you don't break the clips. And make sure you unclip them before you take them off. Now, earlier I did take the battery out. I don't recommend sitting it on the concrete. Concrete and batteries don't mix. Set it on the shelf there. And... Uh, alternators here. I kind of got some of the bolts sitting back in the place where they originally went so I don't lose them. If you can, you can put them back in the bolt spot, but for instance on this one, you can't do it because there's a bolt under it. So, just a little tip. Alright, so I basically just started disassembling, um, taking pictures along the way, pulling off parts, plugs, hoses, um, all these electrical plugs. I did take off the uh, distributor here. Um, took off the hoses for the water, coolant, um, really that's about it. I am uh, trying to nicely place everything on this table so that I uh, will be able to put it back together. Things such as these bolts, as long as this table doesn't get knocked over, that way I know which bolts went where. Um, other than that, just uh, continuing on and uh, 